Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It's the morning of day 21. I think this is going to be a turning point in stuff. So I made a bunch of things last night. So, um, first of all, we got a bunch of concrete and we got some cobblestone here moving. So we're going to go down and work on the horde base before we go anywhere today, just to determine if there's a horde coming or not. Um, this is all the stuff, if we're going to end up going to Eve's place, this is all the stuff we're going to bring with us. Uh, I was able to make a little bit more gas last night, which is not too bad. Uh, but we'll bring all this with us. I managed to get the AK upgraded a little bit from what we had it before. Not much. Uh, our bow's a little bit repaired. Shotgun's a little bit repaired. Uh, we should probably get into using steel tool tools soon, but I'm not worried about that right now. We've got our ammo, stuff, some, some stuff to sell, whatever, right? Uh, so the other thing that I did last night is I made a bunch of glue and made a few mods. So I made two insulated liner mods. And two, uh, if we go here, we modify. I made two of these um, cooling meshes as well. Because I don't know if um, we're going to be in the desert or in the snow biome. So that's going to give us an extra 20 cold and heat protection. Which should be plenty, I think, for what we have. We should be warm enough in either biome or at least just a little bit under what we need to be. All right, so let's get down to the horde base and actually get that that thing ready to go for the next horde. So we'll drop down here. We got one zombie. I heard her kicking around here last night, but she really didn't do too much. I just kind of ignored her. Until now. Alright, let's get out here. Now, I don't think they did a lot of damage to this place. I think this was from the zombies that came afterwards. Now, this block is still fine. So they didn't touch that at all. That's from my shotgun damage. A little bit of cop spit damage up there, but not much. Eventually we're going to surround that in plates as well. But right now we don't have to. It's, the hordes aren't difficult enough to actually warrant having to do that yet. But at a certain point, the destructive capability will just be too much and we'll have to do it. Okay, so that's all fine. This is all fine. That's all fine. Let's actually go do that. Let's actually get all this done. And that one. Now, let's give them a way to get through here. Uh, have they been beating on this at all? Not really. I guess they kind of can jump up and over that. Here's somebody out there. Question is, is it the morning locals or is it the beginning of a wandering horde? We should get a wandering horde this morning. If we do, we'll just go up here. But you're in... No, you're not inside. It's just the locals. Just the locals deciding to come over and deliver us some pie for later in the day. Somebody's in there. Let's kill you. Should be able to lead you out this way. Come on, buddy. All right, let's see if we can knock. Now, that's not too bad. We're going to knock these out of the way here, too, so the zombies can get through here. Right after I kill this local. And his slower buddy. So I'll let them work on the rest of this. I just want this part gone. And I think we need to... Did they do any real damage to this? Not really. Let's give them a way out of here. I really hate the fact that they get caught under stuff. Not much I can do about it, unfortunately, but... At least that they have a way out of there. Hopefully it won't make too much of a big... It looks like they've... 
Like, they don't hit the stairs at all. Which is an interesting discovery. They just break the blocks around the stairs. Which is kind of weird. Let's give them a way out this way. Now, under here, I should fill all this in with blocks, but I don't think it's going to make that much difference. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to, to be honest, I'm going to do it when the watering horde has gone by. Let's take this one out, too. Okay. They can work on these blocks. Let's get up here. Um... Get this out of my friggin' inventory here. Thought I heard somebody creeping around over there. Okay, that's all fine. Ah, this guy. Alright, now, I think... Yeah, these are pretty much... Yeah, we only had like one or two vomits from cops, so they didn't do too much damage to the front here. Eventually, if I mean, we'll put, probably put some wedges up here facing outwards eventually, but right now we don't need them. They're not stacking up at the door at all, so I don't like we have to worry about that at the moment. Um, let's pop that up for now. Okay, that's where I left you. I thought I had brought that inside last night. I'm like looking around for it everywhere. I'm like, oh shit, I hope I didn't sell it at the trader. All right, let's break out these guys. And we'll fill this in with blocks. Let's bring you down. Um, just because I'm concerned that uh, if they break in and get under me. That they'll just destroy everything under here. I know there's another one over here, but not much, I'm not really worried about that right now. Alright, anything damaged over here? Should be pretty good, I think. Yeah, nothing really. I think we're good to go for the next horde. Don't think we have to worry about much. Let's leave that up, though, just in case zombies are roaming around. Now, I'm going to pick these two guys up. I don't know if we're going to have a horde yet. It doesn't look like we are. Uh, yeah, I'll let them work on those blocks. But I think what I will do is probably... Do that. Give it a bit more structural stability on the side there. Yeah, it's probably... I mean, they're not taking this building down anytime soon. Now, what about... A little bit of damage here. Not a whole lot. Probably mostly for me shooting with the shotgun. Although that's probably from zombies beating on it. Yeah, I mean... We're looking pretty good, I think. This walkway is working better than I thought it would after I realized I had, hadn't built it 100% right. This little bit here I was worried about, but it seems like it's fine for them. So as long as it's working, I, you know, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to rebuild anything. Now, the real test is when the uh, behemoths and stuff start showing up. And Oops. There are a few nasty zombies that come later on. I'm waiting for this to all get broken out too eventually. So I can replace it with concrete and then steel. Because I can't upgrade it. I can only repair it. So that's probably pretty good. I'm not going to waste any more concrete until we know how the zombies are going to react to stuff. So let's go put the stuff inside. And I think we're probably just going to go. Like I don't want to take any concrete with me. Um... Because I want to save it for this base. Let's just put the stuff that we'll probably take up there. Oh, you know what we should take, though? There's a good stack of repair kits. Not just because um, we might need to repair our gear, but because um, we might find stuff that we want to... Uh, that we want to... Um, actually, let's leave you two. We might find things that we want to uh, use. Actually, let's take the... Sure. Alright, let's load the bike up. Because it looks like it looks like we are going today. So, what we'll do is we'll spend a little bit of time, wrench a couple cars. And, yeah. Fill that up. Drop the rest in here. 
that can go turn this to seven I should probably get some steel going today too where are you yeah I got more locals uh, is there any cars over here I don't think so Ah, that's gotta hurt, huh? Oh, we got one over here. Let's just wrench this car. Alright, we'll put everything in the bike. And let's go, because I don't think we're gonna have a uh, horde today. I think we're gonna get lucky. Uh, these we can sell. Yeah, I think we're gonna get lucky. So let's go see, uh, let's go see Eve. Now, hopefully on the long the way, we, um, either see another town or city or at least find the desert biome. If I find the desert biome, I'm going to stop and pick up a bunch of oil shale. Because that's definitely going to be needed moving forward. At least that way I don't have to worry about making gas for quite a while. So I'm just following the road north on the north side of Jenstown, heading west. Looks like there might be like another town like right next to where Jen was. Like if we look on the map, I haven't gone very far. And it looks like there's another one like right here. Which is nice because if there's another trader here, looks like it might be big enough to be up to have a trader. Um, if there's another trader here. I want to sell the stuff that we have to sell before we go to Eve's place. Yep, looks like there's a Trader Bob here. You know, this is the guy that I can't find very often um, in Alpha 20. For some reason, I don't I don't see him. Although, I gotta say, one of the Darkness Falls maps that I did generate earlier when I was first testing it out, uh, Trader Bob actually spawned in the um, commercial district of town. Which I thought was really cool. And I've seen a Caitlyn in town too. On the random gen. Which is a kind of a neat thing. You know, it's nice to have those like traders like right in the center of this of the town. It's kind of a cool idea. Okay, grab those, that. I think the rest of that is staying there. The glue can go in there. That's it. Let's uh take care of the locals though. I wanna have some browsing time at Bob's. Oh! That was hilarious. I thought he would have turned around. He like came right at me. I'm like, is he actually going to attack me? Nope. Apparently not. Alright. Alright, Bob. As much as I want to loot all your shiz here, I think we take a quick stop. Uh, can I see your inventory? I got a few things to sell you. Now this guy, yeah. This guy is the vehicle guy. So he will buy a few things from me. So yeah, if you're looking for vehicle parts or vehicles or stuff, this is the guy to come to. Now, secret stash is supposed to show better loot. Solar cells. All right, bandolier mob we already have. They don't stack, so it's not worth buying it. Sewing kits we don't need. Nothing there. Probably a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, see all the bicycles and stuff. As you go up and level, the actual vehicles become better. I've actually seen a full copter, like a helicopter in there. Um, oh, it's pricey, but I'm going to buy it. Uh, it's not like we're not going to use it. We're going to go through it. Uh, so you don't have much else, really, that I want. But at least we know you're here. I'll mark you on the map. Y'all come back now. So there's another trader that's actually really close to us. So save waypoint. Just do that for the trader. So we've got like one, two, three, four towns really close to each other. That's actually really nice. Actually, let's go just check his workbench. We'll take the fire axe. Actually, I should just sell it to him. 14 rounds of ammunition. Sure. Let's just sell him the fire axe and then we'll get out of here. All right, buddy. Because um, we got... We're running low on time here to sell you that. Come back sometime. Uh, I will. You know I will. 
Now that I know you're in the neighborhood. Oh, that's a couple things we can sell. All right, let's get going. So the highway kind of continues out this way. I'm going to take the highway, even though it kind of goes in a different little bit of a track here because there's mountains in front of us. And even though we've got the motorcycle, it does not handle off-road like mountain travel very well. Strangely enough, I think the mini bike probably handles it a little better. Uh, only because it's got a short front back kind of wheelbase. All right, coming up on a town here. I think this is the one, the northern part of the town that we found the other day. It is. So let's go a little bit across country. It doesn't look like this is, well, maybe it does. The big trees back there kind of say that it is like, it's kind of mountainous terrain. But we'll go around the town this way just to open up a little bit more just so we can see what, he's, what they've got here. Alright, there's like a few construction sites and things like that around there, but nothing that's really worthwhile. So I'm going to turn and we're going to head across country here. We're, I think we're on like the southern part of this hill, hilly range. So I think we can probably get away with sneaking through along this way. Yeah, it looks like we're making our way between two of the big sets of mountains here now. We just passed that old west town. It's just actually south of us, and we're just getting into chop here now. Uh, hopefully, it's not so bad once we kind of get up and over this hill here. Yeah, it looks like it's flattening out a bit here. Yeah, I think we're through the mountains now. Yeah, the good thing about actually traveling this way and not going kind of south is we're away from the wasteland. So if we if this place is in the wasteland, then. You know, at least we're not kind of like taking a weird road traveling through it to try and get to it. I, I mean, we can't go there anyway like if it is in the wasteland. I'm really hoping it's not. I'm really hoping it's the desert. Really hoping it's the desert. But it's looking pretty flat up there and I'm thinking it's wasteland. It's looking like it's in the wasteland. Well, that's an interesting proposition. I mean, maybe it's not. Right, let's try and go around. We'll skirt the edge of it for a bit here. Just to see if it is actually in the wasteland. Mountains over there. I, I have no idea. I still haven't really analyzed my position on the map at all. So I don't really know where we're kind of situated. And I completely forgot on the random gen where everything is. So I have no idea where the biomes are. Although I was watching a video from Cap there a little while ago, he was talking about how you can actually generate an all whatever one biome if you want, or all two biome map. And I guess when it creates the um, the random gen world file, it creates a PNG file with just colors on it. And the colors are uh, indicative of what the actual biome will be. Right, so there's a town in the wasteland down there. So, um, you could just alter the color of the map, right? So if it's, if, oh, it is in the desert. Oh, that's actually really nice. I'm kind of glad I kept going. Um, yeah, so if, for, for instance, let's say you get, I don't know, you like where the cities are laid out, but you hate the fact that the biggest cities in the wasteland or something, you can just actually change the color of where that city is to green, connect it to the green or to the snow or to wherever you want to connect it to. And then, um, you know, so now you, you've got a map that you really like, right? But you need a, you need a uh, photo editor to do that. Um, I, I played around with it a little bit um, inside Photoshop. I don't know how it's going to handle gradiated textures because I was trying to come up with a way to do like a more um like when you you'll see it here in a second when we get to the desert it just all of a sudden becomes desert and i want to have it so that like there's like a speckling of green and desert that kind of mix it together and blend it a little better than this so i tried it um on the map i haven't had a chance to check it fully yet but i want to see if i can, if that actually works well here's a highway 
Yeah, I see ya. It probably goes straight into the uh, wasteland, though. I really hope that she does. She's not giving me the um, quest for the bunker, like the first science bunker, whatever it is, the research bunker. Because if she does, I don't have any key cards. Like I've got a few key cards at home, I think, but uh, I didn't bring any with me, so it's not like we can actually go do that quest in the next day or so. We'd have to drive all the way home and. If I was going to do that, I don't want to waste my time just driving home. Come on, terrain. Do me a solid and load in. I don't want to waste my time, drive all the way home, and then um, come back out, right? I'd rather kind of do it all in one shot. Alright, let's just ignore you. Here's what I have. Hey, that's the seasoned survivor. Are you well, the one I need to talk to? It is. Take a shotgun. Ooh, I can take two. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. You have any jobs? The test. Head to the rally point. Clear out the sleeper. So I don't think this is. Come on, you bastard. Bring it in. You want to go? We can go. I don't think this is the one that's the. Um... Where is it, though? Oh, man. It better not be in the wasteland. I heard you fuckers. Let me get under here. While I check where it is. Uh, where the hell is it? Oh, this is the one they don't mark on the map. And I bet you it's like right in the wasteland. So wait a minute. Where are we here? We're at West 3172. So we need to go to 30... So 1700 roughly. Ooh, I don't know. It may be in the wasteland. It may not be. It probably is. That's probably where we gotta go. 1.5 kilometers, eh? Well, we didn't come all this way just to chicken out. Go ahead and use you. I don't know if this is the final bunker or if this is just the, uh, I think this one is the, um, come on, you saw me get on my bike, let's go. No, you bastard, you gotta wait till I start moving. Oh, we can check for oil shale here though, here though. Alright, checking for oil shale. Nice. All right, we got 120. It's like 1,200. Die. Well, there's our wandering horde for the day. Hey, guess what I got today? She gave me some shotgun ammo. Oh yeah, by the way, I made the uh, electric shock mod for this thing. Damn it! Got all cocky. Look at the rest of them out there. Come on, buddy. We meant to pick these up, then we'll go finish the rest of that horde off. Can't let this stand. I got a rad remover on this thing now, too, so. Well, that was a blue bag you dropped, eh? Ooh, a little bit of stuff to sell. So we'll get the rest of them. What are they doing wandering around out there? Oh! Damn it, I thought there was nobody there. Well, you know what Thought did, right? Thought he farted, but ended up shitting himself. Ooh, just in time to not, like, run out of stamina. 
Damn close, though. Still coming. Come on, the rest of you. I wonder if they spawn like when I was just going by. Why well, I'm using this. I know it's really to save ammo, but... They're starting to get a piece of me now. Well, that's not bad. Let's use a couple of these guys. That wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. Alright, we should be able to heal that up now, the rest of it. Okay, let's bring the... Actually, put what we can in there first. Take the... Oop, not that. Uh, we can put you in there. Actually, that's not bad. Let's just use that now. We got five health back for it. Delicious. Um, I think we can probably go with this shotgun ammo in there, too. Alright, still got gas left over. Let's go ahead and see. I'm interested to know... If, because if this is in the wasteland, we don't have, I've got four of the five pieces I need for uh, radiation gear. The issue though, the major, it's going to be in the ra ra wasteland. The major issue is that um, we won't have any armor. So we can't get hit. Because I got a feeling if we do, yeah, it's, it's in that town. And that's right in the wasteland. We'll see though. Maybe not. Maybe I get lucky. Yeah, maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. I don't think we're going to get lucky. I think it's in the town. Yeah. Damn. Wow, demon portal right there too, eh? Isn't that lovely? Alright, let's handle you. I'm interested to see. Very interested to see here. What we can do to that thing. Put some gas in there. Let's bring out uh, you. Yeah, we might as well put the coffee in there. Alright, now, I don't know... Like, I know you can take those out with a rocket launcher. Alright, that cop's gonna murder me. That's a demon. Oh, you're, you're a demon, too. Yep. I can't do this. Not without the right gear. Not without the right gear. We don't have it. We just don't have the ability to, like... Shit, I don't know what, I don't know what just hit me, but we gotta get in the bike and get out of here. Yeah, we do not have the juice for that. So if you want an idea of how bad it can actually get in the wasteland, that's probably a pretty good example of how shit can go south real fast. Um, we need more firepower, and we need a way to remove their ability to regen. We just don't have the juice for it. I don't have the uh, damage output of the uh, rate of fire that we need. So I didn't bring any healing supplies, so looks like our trip to the <laughs> looks like our trip to Eve has come to a, a quick swift end, but we're gonna go back, we're gonna loot her place, so we might as well. Ah, uh, we got some time. We'll loot her place and then actually you know what? I might go to that road to the north and see if that actually goes to a town in the desert. Mm, I don't know if she's got 
a White River Scout or whatever in here. Maybe she does and we can pick up a, uh, a bandage. That would be handy. If not, I say we get out of here and try and, uh... That's my leg. Okay. Well, you got a chem station, though. Do you have any corn? I can find corn in the desert for cornmeal. That's destroyed. Damn it. Ah, okay. Well. Kind of put a damper, put, puts a damper on that, eh? So let's go upstairs. I was really hoping there would be more here. That's just a medical... That leads into her, right? Right. Now you did not have anything to Here's sell, what correct? I have. Yeah, you don't have anything to sell. Ah, this is annoying. You know, I should have brought medical supplies, but you know me. When have I ever done things like that that would just completely make sense, you know? Nothing in there we can use. Ah, and there's nobody up here. Okay, well, I guess we get back on the bike. Let's see if we can get in here. I guess we can get back on the bike and head to see if we can find a desert town. I'm not going to break in there. So how are we doing here? Not too bad. Okay. Alright, let's go see if we can find a desert town. I'm going to grab four corn on the way north to the road. Actually, I really only need two. But I'm going to grab four in case we don't get any clay today. That way we can at least have enough material to make a plaster cast should we find a chem station. So that'll give us the ability to do that. Actually, let's grab... Uh, we're going to grab some aloe because we can make bandages too. So we might as well make a few of those while we're out here. Actually, let's just hold off. There's the road over there. Let's take that road north. And hopefully there's a town with a trader. So this has got to end in something half decent, right? Right? Why does it feel like I'm ri like riding off into the sunset here? There's like the mountains up in there. Oh, there's, there's the town. Okay. I was like, this where? I think that mountain's probably the edge of the map because it kind of leads like north and south and normally the mountains don't trout like do that unless it's like the edge of the map so I think we're probably on the far edge of the map and I'm really hoping that there's a trader in this town because if not uh, we're driving home at night I guess and I'm gonna have to get gas too because we're not gonna be able to have enough gas to get back uh, this town looks like it's big enough to have a trader however it does not appear it does it has a trader trader. Damn. No trader. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Ah. Uh. I don't think the split works on this. We could do it in the campfire. Eight cornmeal, murky water, crushed sand, and cloth. I ain't fucking around today, guys. Alright, we need to get clay so I can make a... There's our sand. And then we want to make a... Mortar and pedestal. Get that crafting. The only thing we're missing is antibiotic. So is there... 
I don't know why I'm driving into town, but I was hoping to find like a poppin' pills here somewhere. Ah, forever video? Uh-huh. It was not forever, was it? We all know what that means. Okay, Butcher Pete's. Oh, all those no. Alright, we still got a bit of time. For nightfall. I think we're gonna spend the night here. But where here is the question? That's like a little tower. Maybe this damaged house? On the edge of town here? Oh yeah, because I know there's um... So this POI... I know for sure has got medical supplies upstairs, which might give us what we want. This freaking shotgun, man. The shotgun. I'm telling you. Why would you want to use anything else this like early game? Late game, I understand. Going with the automatic weapons. But early game? That was titanium uh, arrows. The worst thing about the titanium arrows, though, I wish, like, I wish they would scrap down to titanium, but they don't. They scrap down to iron. Okay, we need cloth. This should give us more than enough. So I've got the plastic while we're here. Little extra cloth. Usually one zombie here somewhere. Oh, we need murky water, too. That's not murky water. We got two jars, though. Uh... I can't sprint. We got crickets already, too. Where is a water source? Uh, anything close by? I wish we could fill the water up out of the toilet. Ah, uh, let's just... See, there's the... One of the sets of supplies up there, but I gotta jump to get up here. Ten hours for repair. Come on, splinter plastic... Oh, fuck it, really? The one time I wished it had... Something else. Alright, no zombies here. Empty jars. Now you're just slapping me in the face. Uh, scrap. Empty jars are no good if I don't have water source. Oh, there we go. There's the one murky water we need. All right. Let's get a, uh... Where are you here? Campfire. Oh, we need to get our... Probably a cooking pot out of the, uh... And grill. Come on, lady. Yes. All right, cooking pot's done. Or you're done. Let's put you down here. Back downstairs for another hundred hours of friggin' broken leg time. We're done with our gas. Bring you. What else here? We can just go ahead and scrap this. Put the acid in there. Actually, anything that we got matched up? Engines and stuff? Leave one engine now. We'll put those in there. Uh, what can we use? Take the coffee out. Let's put that in there. Repair kits are useless at the moment. Bring the glue out in case we need it. 
which means we can put in you. That should be enough ammo for the night. Uh, anything else we need? I don't think so. Let's go make sure we can actually make this now. God, 24 hours. Oh, God, still going up. Okay. You. Uh, we need to put you two in there. Put you down. Cornmeal. That should give us eight. Perfect. Which is what we need for this. Now, do we need two murky water? That's the question. Because if we do, we're going to have to go looking for it. We only need one. Okay, just the eight cornmeal is all we need. Ah, there you go. Resourcefulness at its best. It's one of the things I like about this game. Having to, like, result to your, like, um, resort to your wits, you know, at the last moment. That's why I, that's why I don't carry a lot of stuff with me. Because I'm like... You know, ah, we'll just figure it out as we go. It just, it's just so much more satisfying when you actually are able to do that. Now, our infection's an issue. So, um... Yeah, these are all locked. So nothing we can do about those. Uh, once we get this cast, though... Once we get the cast, we'll have a look around town real quick, because I want to see if there is um, a poppin' pills. I don't think there is. Like, you'd think we'd be able to see it from here if there was. It's not a very big town, is it? But I didn't see any other major roads. Looks like that kind of goes back through... And then probably into the city that's here. I should probably mark this. Um, portal, so we know it's there. I should make it my job of having to eliminate all the portals. Alright, one problem solved. Let's take these back. And actually pick this up. I can't pick it up. That's fine. I can always make another one if I have to. Alright, well, let's have a look around town here now that we can actually move without having to worry too much about ourselves. Yeah, it's a pretty small place. Oh, maybe not. A little more over here. But it's all residential down here. Is it? Looks that way. Yeah, looks that way. So I don't think we're going to get lucky at all. Let's, you know what we're going to do? Let's just pause here for a second. Let's get... Let's get some gas. Let's see if there's any murky water in there in case we need it. Oh, the regular water. Might as well just use that. Get it out of our inventory. We're going to get some gas here, and then we're going to head out. Um, and I might just head south. I don't know. Probably just head south and see if we can find, like, another town or something. How is a construction site here? Figures. Let's go see what's in the workbench. Anything good? Ooh, that's the, that was actually worth stopping for. 99 clay in case we need it. Now there's a car in the front yard here. Two cars. Let's get these done before nightfall. Too late. Runners. Still stop the shit runners though. Oh, you're feral. At least it seemed like it was feral. 
It is a possibility now that we're... Uh, ooh, better ratchet. Nice. Now that we're in a ha higher game stage area... All right. We're all right. What's that over there? All right. Let's go check that out. And if that's just nothing, uh, put some gas in there. We got a thousand extra, so we're pretty good. So I'm going to go check this place out. If it ends up being like some kind of trader or something, great. If it's not, then I'm probably just going to drive through the night. And when we pick it up at the at the uh, beginning of the next episode, um, yeah, we'll be wherever we are. I don't know. I'm going to look for another town. I got a feeling that this is probably like one of those ranger stations, though. But yeah, we'll probably be in another town. I mean, our leg's fixed. It'll be d fixed and like totally fixed in 16 minutes. Um, and hopefully we can find another trader out here. And I got to... Definitely tomorrow mine oil shale, but then we have to beat a hasty retreat back home, I think, because if it ends up that tomorrow's a horde night, it's going to be an issue. Yeah, this is like a military base. And while this is a nice raid, it's not the reason why we're out here. So we'll have to worry about that at another time. All right, well, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it as I drive down south here into the sunset. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see y'all later.